Hi, how you guys Hi, doing? Guys. So today we're out at Plant City at Don and Natalie's future dream home site. This is actually pretty convenient to kind of get anywhere in Tampa, but while not being in the hustle and bustle of the city. And it's really close to like downtown historic Plant City with all the shops and restaurants. So definitely a good find. Beautiful lot here. What do you need to see in this home? What do you envision? Actually, Natalie's mom lives with us six months out of the year. So we need a place for her mom to live as well. So we're gonna go with the four bedroom home. Uh, we'd like a main bedroom on the on one side of the house and then the spare bedrooms on the left side. Okay, so have your own little private area of the home? Yes, definitely want three bath and we like wow. to entertain. So we're hoping that a lot of our gatherings in, in the fall and the winter will be on the outside area. Lots of space to Keep the mess outside. Oh, that's so strategic. I love it. So you kind of envision a large outdoor space, maybe to have some outdoor dining. Yes. Okay. The next step, really, we have to look at design elements. Do you have a, a certain style that you like? Well, I'm kind of up in the air on that one. I'm not really sure what my style is. All right. I kind of just put things together, so I definitely need help with that. If I see something I like, I buy it, and... Yes. And it's... <laughs> so I have a little bit of everything going on in each room, so I need to find that style and let it flow through the home. But I do have this teal green hutch that I'd like to incorporate. So this hutch is one of my favorite pieces of furniture. I think it would be a great accent piece in our new home. So we're gonna design the whole house around this teal hutch. We got it. <laughs> that's, that's the motivation. Hey, listen, sometimes it's like one piece can inspire yes, the that's, entire that's thing. That's how I want it to, yeah. I want it to inspire, yes. Okay. What do we have overall budget to play with for the build? 370. 370 is about where we want to stop at. Okay. We've got to get this thing started if we're going to get this house done in 100 days or less. I got a new grandbaby coming, and we need that space. My passion is my family and my home. Well, let's All do right, it. let's do it. Don and Natalie, so up. nice meeting you. Yep. You as well. Thank <laughs> right, you very guys. much. So and this is definitely like your traditional Victorian style house. What's your first impression on this? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it looks okay. I mean, just a little too much. I'm not really feeling the two story, too big, too yellow, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, wow, exactly. So, I mean, it definitely draws your attention because it has that color pop. I'm not really 100% sure yet, but I know I want more neutral. Okay. I, I don't know. I, that's, that's my thoughts right now. We really got to get some decisions made to get your house done in 100 days. Yep. Uh, I do like this. Nah. Yeah, yeah. I like one floor. This style is definitely a little more of what I would be looking for. But I guess it needs a little more detail to make it just pop a little more. And yeah, maybe and, some brick. Yeah, and the stone look. Oh, absolutely. OK. So I mean, I'm hearing that you kind of have some elements of the layout of the exterior, but you want to actually have a little bit more character with mixing yes. up with different materials. Yep. So right now, all I really have to go on as far as interior style is this hutch that she wants to incorporate in her new home. But I need to figure out why she loves it. Is it the color? Is it the modern farmhouse? Is it the antique finish? Until I figure that out, I don't know how to make it cohesive with her dream home style. All right, guys, I wanted to bring you to this kitchen. It's light, bright, airy. What are your thoughts? Oh, wow. Ah, OK. Nice. OK. Nice open concept. I do like that. Open concept is something we want, so we can all spend time together as a family. I like the white cabinets. I think they, they look nice. Big sink, I like that. It sounds like both of you like the overall vibe and feel of this space, which is a transitional style home. Yeah, I like this look. We might have just figured out your style. Donna and Natalie really have a transitional style, which is kind of a hybrid between modern and traditional. It's gonna be open and airy, but it also has a neutral palette with just pops of color, like her teal hutch. When you come down this road, it's kind of at the end of a cul-de-sac, we're gonna angle the house on the lot. So all you're gonna see is house, and your view's gonna be more of the oak tree versus your neighbors. That's perfect. Perfect. Yeah, we like that. There's also a great mixture of textures on the outside. We've got lap siding, we've got some stucco and some stonework. I know outdoor area was super important to you and the grandkids. So you've got a front porch that you can sit out and enjoy the outside. And we wanted to make sure that you have an outdoor area in the back of the home as well. So we did include a pretty nice size lanai. Sounds nice. Yeah. All right, so now let's take a look at the inside of the home. Right from the entryway, this great area that's gonna have your dining, kitchen, great room, all in one. So that's kind of the hub where everybody can hang out. We wanted to make sure that you have a nice oversized island that looks out into the great room so you can see everything that's going on. Also, a really good size pantry. 
So you should have plenty of room for storage in there. Yep. So, so like any way, it. we can um, just add a little kitchen nook where we can have a, like a small table in, in with the kitchen. Just like a little breakfast nook here? Yep. We can do that. The only thing you're gonna have to consider is it's gonna steal space from your lanai and it's gonna add some cost. Probably about $5,000. I, I think that? the cost will, will be worth it, so we're okay with that change. Yep. Okay. You mentioned wanting to have the main suite separate from the other bedrooms, right? Yes. Correct. So that's exactly what we did. And we wanted to make sure that you have privacy. So right off your great room to the right of the home, you're gonna have your main suite and a really nice oversized bathroom. Is there a way we can extend on an eye out a little bit larger as well? Outside the main suite? Yes. I do think that what we lose on this side, with adding on that breakfast nook, mm -hmm. we can actually extend over to the main suite. So basically, whatever we take away here, we'll add there. That's Perfect. absolutely what we're looking Perfect. for. Here's the sure. thing, though. Right now, we just have a window there. So I'm wondering, since we're going to extend the lanai over, go ahead and put a door there for you guys. Yeah, so I like the idea of a yeah, door. Can we, can we do a door? That'd be awesome if you could do that. The other three bedrooms, if you notice, we kind of tuck those behind the kitchen on the other wing of the home, along with your laundry. It's nice. Yes. Very cool. So most importantly in this process, we want to make sure that we include everything that you want. So we've got the four bedrooms, the three bathrooms, and adding on that breakfast nook is probably going to put us right around 2,300 square feet, but we are going to definitely keep it in the new budget of $375,000. Day one. Nice hot day one. It is hot, isn't it? Well, there's actually a lot that goes into day one. First, we got to scrape the lot. We got to level it out. We got to lay out the house. 13.8. The breakfast nook. Yep. Next, we're going to string it, dig the footers, bend some rebar, and uh, day one should be a wrap after that. We got the footers already poured, so now we're pouring the entire foundation. We'll start on the right side of the house and work our way all the way to the garage. We should be able to get the entire slab poured today, get it set up, and start stacking cinder blocks pretty soon. We're at Don and Natalie's today, putting the final courses of block up. We should have this block probably in the next hours to be completely done. This is an important house because it's not just for Don and Natalie, it's also for Natalie's mom and all the grandkids. So got to make sure we do this one right, but uh, it's looking real good in here. Finito. Coming in hot. Today we're at Natalie and Don's dream home and we're approaching the halfway point. We have electrical plumbing wrapping up, drywall's about to go up, and we've got to pick some paint colors. Hello, guys. Hey, how you guys doing? Doing good. It's really coming along. I like it. Wow. How have things been going? My grandson was born oh, yes! um, last Sunday, yes! so we're pretty excited. Congrats. What's nice. his name? Eric. Eric. Awesome. All right. Now I feel like the stakes are even higher because I know Don and Natalie are ready to get into this house so they can start hosting gatherings with their family. We have to make a couple more decisions today. I figure, you know, we'll just knock out our selections for exterior paint and mm -hmm. interior paint today. There's about a thousand color choices to pick from, so. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Yeah. So I kind of need to see that hutch again, Natalie. Yes, okay. That'll... I really feel like that pool's like either brown, gray, or like a blue. I think I like this one. Let's make sure it looks good yeah. with the hutch. Ooh, good. yeah, that works. Now we need to figure out what your house is gonna look like when you pull up. I think we should step outside yeah. and actually look yeah. at that in the okay. natural light. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, so we've got, like, in that neutral hue that's not too dark, mm -hmm. do we see anything in any of these families? I know these kind of pull a little bit more on the beige side, mm -hmm. and these are strictly more gray. I'm kind of digging this one here, Nat. Well, this would be a little too dark. Mm -hmm. And you know, I kind of like this one right here. I think the lighter one would be a little bit better. I like that color. Yeah, good, yeah. yeah. So today we've got Don and Natalie's kitchen cabinets going in. They chose a classic white for their main cabinets and like a deep blue for their kitchen island. It's gonna provide a nice pop of color. The look really fits their transitional style. A lot of things happening today. We got the fireplace going in. Hey, Mama. Oh, I see you listened. 
doesn't that make more sense? Whoa, I didn't know if I listened. But you didn't really give me a choice. <laughs> Today we're at Don and Natalie's dream home and we are setting up this special project. We didn't see eye to eye on the placement of this beautiful outdoor fireplace. Now we see eye to eye and I do agree it's gonna be nice coming right off the night. It's gonna look awesome and I think they're gonna love it. So we're getting all the base down, pavers will go on top of that. Landscaping starts today, so by the end of today, this whole yard should be transformed. As long as you're out here, you can help me spread or what? I knew you were gonna say that. Here. Give me the rake. I'm, I know you're left-handed, that's a left-handed rake. And yes, that's a joke my dad always said. Once we finished raking out the base and compacting it, it was time for the masons to come in and lay down the pavers. While they finish laying out the pavers, I'm gonna get started on the landscaping. Getting the sod down here at Don and Natalie's, it's really looking good up front. Landscaping in the backyard is gonna be super important because it's gonna create that private oasis that they're looking for. Let's roll out the rug, baby. All right. I've got my design team all hands on deck. We're gonna turn this house into a home. Oh, okay, it's not that bad. <laughs> this home is really kind of a transitional style. It does have hints of traditional, a little contemporary. We do have a lot of neutrals, but we're gonna accent with some color pop with the accessories. Love the greenery. It's gonna be really beautiful and all tie in together. Yes, beautiful. We're finally gonna get an opportunity to have big family gatherings at the house like we wanted to. This is gonna be great. <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> is that oh them? Yes. Awesome. Oh my gosh. So good. Wow. Wow. I love it. Now that's a nice looking driveway. Wow. Awesome. Not as nice as the house. I love the color. The stone, and the landscaping. Oh my God. It all came together, didn't it? Today is day 100. It's the big day for Don and Natalie to come and finally see their dream home. They fell in love with this lot. We hope they fall in love with the house now. Oh my God. Isn't it so beautiful? I love the tile. Yeah. I just yeah. absolutely love it. So far, so good. You guys, you know, think of family first. So you almost designed this house thinking of the grandkids, the family, your mom. Now you can stretch out a little bit and have like that central location for everybody to gather. Right. So Definitely. we can't wait to show you what's behind the doors. We're dying to see the inside. Yeah. Oh, who's gonna have the honor? Come on, Natalie. Natalie's going first. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh my God. Welcome home. Wow. <laughs> And look at my hatch. Yeah. I was waiting for that. Yeah. I know you want to touch yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. It looks so pretty. <laughs> Do you feel like it works in your new home? It looks great, like fantastic. Yeah. Let's check out the rest of the house. Yes. yes. It's really all just one yeah. big space. It's going to be perfect. Check out this kitchen. <gasps> yeah. Oh, I love the countertops. Beautiful. I mean, it's nice wow, and that's, big. That we can is put huge. some kids up here. Yeah, right? This Hang out, cook, have some fun. I love it. She's already planning what she's going to do. She's already planning her first party. Yes. <laughs> so you guys wanted four bedrooms. Why don't we check out the first one? <gasps> oh my god, it looks so nice. Yes. The color palette's kind of inspired by the hutch. The whole house yes, is inspired by the hutch. I love it. I love that color. Can we go there this go. way now? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Check it out. Same continuous floor throughout, which is nice. Oh, oh this is great. I love it. Plenty of space. Yep. We wanted to make sure your mother had a special space yes. as well. Oh, wow. She's going to love this. Plenty of room. She has her privacy. Right. This yeah. is awesome. You guys did a great job. Everybody nice. has their own space. I love it. Yes. I love it. <gasps> wow. Wow. I love it. Oh, look at the floors. Look at the countertops. Wow, this so is pretty beautiful. with the cabinets. Obviously, this is the main bathroom, yeah. so dressed it up a little bit, elevated the design in here. I love all the different cabinets. They all look so good in each bathroom with the floors. I mean, it's awesome. Yes. I think Mika actually pulled out from us what we really liked and put it here. I didn't really know what my style was. I didn't really know how to put it together. Without Mika's help, I don't think I would have been able to get it to flow the way it does. Well, you guys have been dreaming about this dream home for a long time. Let's see what you're going to be dreaming in your main bedroom. Yes, let's take it. Check it out. Wow. 
This is nice. Oh my God, oh, this is beautiful. beautiful. This oh, this is. is big too. Do you guys love how you have the transom window that gives you light? but has privacy. Yeah, this home is so full wow. of natural light. The ceilings just open this up, and we have the door leading outside. Should we see what's behind that door? Yeah. Oh, wow, this is huge. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. Look at this. We this got a, is so nice. We got a fire pit? Oh, my Look God. Oh, it's beautiful. We, got, we can spend lots of time out here. Hot chocolate with the kids. Yeah. An occasional beer, this is great. Hey. We knew how important family was to you, so we wanted to create a nice gathering space. It's awesome. 